Obesity has become a national epidemic in this country, with 65% of Americans currently above the ideal body weight. At LA Biomed, Dr. Joel Koppel tells us how obesity can lead to kidney disease. The most common single way that obesity causes chronic kidney disease is because obesity is strongly associated with the development of diabetes mellitus, uh, particularly what's called type 2 or adult onset diabetes. And among people who develop diabetes mellitus, on average, in the United States, 38% of these individuals will develop chronic kidney disease. Obesity is commonly associated with high blood pressure. And high blood pressure, it turns out, is the second most common cause of end-stage kidney failure. And these are two illnesses which theoretically, theoretically, are largely preventable. And to a large extent, by nutrition, and particularly by preventing obesity. Now obesity also has many other relationships to chronic kidney disease. First of all, there's a certain type of disease involving the filtering apparatus of the kidney. It's called the glomerulus, which is specifically caused by obesity. Two other causes of kidney disease that are associated with obesity are one is cancer of the kidney, and if you can believe this, the likelihood of developing kidney stones. Both of these are more common in people who are obese. There's a simple way of estimating obesity. It's called the body mass index. It's your body weight in kilograms divided by your height measured in, not in yards, but in meters, and then squared. So it's your weight in kilograms divided by the square of your height given in meters. Now, a normal BMI is about 19 to 25, 19 to 24.9. What's normally considered overweight is 25 up to 29.9. 30 and higher is obese. When you eat a huge meal, a lot of calories, a lot of protein and other nutrients, that's a major medicine metabolic stress on your body. Obese people also eat a lot of other uh, nutrients, not just too many calories. Often their protein intake is very high. They often eat much too much sodium, much too much phosphorus. If they have any kidney disease, they, the potassium intake by obese people is often much higher than it should be. The most common way of characterizing kidney health or kidney function, there are two common ways. One is by examining the urine and looking specifically for the protein that I just mentioned or the loss of red blood cells in the urine. The second is actually looking at the function of your kidney. No matter what type of kidney disease you have, virtually any type, if you're obese, your kidney disease seems to progress more rapidly. You seem to lose kidney function at a more rapid rate than somebody else with the same kidney disease who's not obese. As people age, it is normal to lose some of your kidney function. You know, we just lose tissue mass and we lose function as we age. That's, that's the story of life.